You will see the king in his splendour. You will see a wider land. The prophet Isaiah chapter 33 verse 17. The more you know about Christ, the less you are going to be satisfied with superficial views of him. The more deeply you study his transactions in the eternal covenant, his engagements on your behalf as the eternal surety, the fullness of his grace which shines in all his offices, the more truly you will see the king in all his beauty. Be much in such outlooks, long more and more to see Jesus. Meditation and contemplation are often like windows of agate, gates of carbuncle, through which we should behold the Redeemer. Meditation puts the telescope to the eye and enables us to see Jesus after a better sort than we could have seen him if we had lived in the days of his flesh. If only our conversation were more in heaven and we were more taken up with that person the work, the beauty of our incarnate Lord. More meditation and the beauty of the King would flash upon us with more resplendence. Beloved brothers and sisters, it is very probable that we shall have such a sight of our glorious King as we have never had before when we come to die. Many saints in dying have looked up from amidst the stormy waters and seen Jesus walking on the waves of the sea, and heard him say, It is I, do not be afraid. And yes, when the tenement begins to shake and the clay falls away, we see Christ through the rifts, and between the rafters the sunlight of heaven streams in. But if we want to see face to face the King in his beauty, we must go to heaven for the sight or the king must come here in person. Oh, if only he would come on the wings of the wind. He is our husband, and we are widowed by his absence. He is our brother, dear and fair, and we are lonely without him. Thick veils of cloud hang between our souls and their true life. When shall the day break and the shadows run? O oh, long-expected day, begin. Amen.